Today we give you the best solutions for post-herc situations, for people who has not qualified for herc, for people who has not qualified for the voluntary disclosure program in Brazil, what they can do. What are the solutions for the people who have not legalized their offshore assets? We give you in this video the best solutions, what you have to do to legalize your assets and to defreeze your offshore accounts, and especially your accounts in Switzerland. Caputo and Partners, SwissBankingLawyers.com. We fight for your money. Today, we have with us our special guest, Simois Bata, international tax lawyer in Brazil and professor for international tax law. Thank you, Simois, for being with us. So, what are the solutions we can offer for our clients who did not qualify for HERCT for the Brazilian Voluntary Disclosure Program? What can they do to have access again to their assets in Switzerland, in Miami, to their offshore assets? What is the best solution? Is doing nothing the best solution? Is this really the best solution, doing nothing? I don't think so. Let's hear what Simon Barza has to tell us. Hi Enzo, it's a pleasure to be here with you again Thank in this you. beautiful city of Zurich. So today we're going to uh, take care of the best solutions for Brazilians who didn't adhere in the first voluntary disclosure uh, programs in Brazil. Uh, we expect, according to our experience, that something around 50% of Brazilians didn't participate in the first voluntary disclosures programs. So we still have a lot of clients with a lot of bankable assets, with a lot of assets, uh, non-declared assets, non -tax offshore, non-tax compliant, non -tax offshore. compliant access offshore. And what we can do for such people? What we can do. What we do is we have a cooperation. We have the Brazilian tax lawyer. He communicates with the Receita Federal, with the Brazilian tax authority. And we have me, Enzo Caputo, dealing with Swiss banks, dealing with the Swiss banks and providing the evidence that the assets are tax compliant now. We need evidence. We have to convince the Swiss bank with clear documentary evidence that the assets are now tax compliant. And the job to make the assets tax compliant, this is Simoes' job. So how you do this, how you make non-tax compliant assets to become tax compliant? Well, and so I think that the, the most important information is that the automatic exchange of information and the common reporting standard, they are in, in, in uh, effort, they're going to be those exchanges of informations and the Brazilians they have no option. The best option is to rectify your last declarations. So you rectify the last five years and you try to you're going to try to produce documentation that you are tax compliant. And then when you can do that, you can bring that documentation to Enzo. Enzo will present that documentation to the banks and then they will, will release the money for those uh, Brazilian clients. I think this is the best approach. Exactly. There is no alternative. You know, if you just do nothing, if you do the wait and see approach or the wait and hope approach, you will be just criminalized. You will be treated as a criminal. So doing nothing means being criminalized. So what you have to do is you have to contact Simon Bata, you have to contact me and we will make your situation become tax compliant. Your asset will become tax compliant. To do this, we do the rectification procedure. We rectify the past with the Brazilian authorities. We will make a deal with the Brazilian authorities. There are a lot of specific situations. Each situation is different. For example, if you have an inheritance, you can take, it, you can take advantage out of this inheritance because why can you take advantage about the inheritance, for example, just to give the audience an example? For example, we had many clients uh, in the last months. They are afraid, because, of course, because they are not tax compliant. And then we took advantage of the inheritance proceeding of a member of the family. So a member of the family had bank, bankable assets here in Switzerland. Uh, this member ended up dying, unfortunately. And then with the inheritance proceeding, the other heirs uh, who owned the money, they could uh, bring the money back to Brazil. They could bring it back to Brazil 
totally tax compliant. Great. The bank released the money for them just by presenting the inheritance proceeding that was made in Brazil. This is the only way. There is only the legal way because we received a lot of phone calls of people. They wanted to convince us to be illegal, to make illegal things, to find out, to move the money out of the Swiss bank in, uh, in an irregular way. We don't do that. There is only one way to do this, and this is the tax compliant, this is the regular and legal way. I tell you why. Even if you find a lawyer who is ready uh, to help you in an irregular way, in a, with irregular uh, uh, support, giving you irregular support, this will not work because the Swiss bank, they will not be cooperative to this because they paid so many fines to the US government because they helped uh, tax dodgers from the United States of America to, uh, to run away with their untaxed assets and they paid billions and billions of fines. The Swiss authorities, the Swiss banks, they don't want to do that anymore. They will never face this risk. So don't expect help from side of the Swiss banks with illegal strategies. The only thing that works is the rectificação with the Receita Federal, with the tax authority in Brazil. Thank yeah, you. Sure. And, and this is, uh, we work on a built to suit, on a case by case scenario. We're going to analyze your situation and you're going to have the best team of lawyers. Enzo, I can tell uh, by our experience, is one of the best lawyers in, in Zurich. Thank He's you. the best to take care of your assets here and we can help you in Brazil. Okay. Okay. So, in case you didn't file for help, if you are a Brazilian resident, you have offshore assets. You have assets in Miami, you have assets in Switzerland, and you didn't qualify it for HERCT. The best thing to do is to pick up the phone and give me a phone call. Pick up the phone and dial 0041-79-4538-593 and give me a call. And we will make your assets become tax compliant so you can have access again to your offshore assets in a legalized manner. Thank you for your time. Thank you so much. See you next time. See you next time. Bye-bye.